everybody welcome back to crafting on a budget store.com for all your scrapbooking needs and more www.crafting on a budget store.com is the web address and you can find everything that i have been using for this project right in may's store the final thing we're going to do is we're going to add the remainder of the pieces of paper that i have left the tags now, I don't have as many because I had to cut into the backs of a lot of papers, but we are going to utilize what I have. So let's hop to it. I have a little sip of my tea. It's a little cold now, but it's good. Okay, <clears throat> so here we have our very first pocket. And so I thought... Maybe we put a card inside. I don't want to use all the cards because I want to put them, you know, in other places. So here's another piece. I'm just putting some paper in there. Okay. All right. So that's that. But I do want something here because I don't like how that looks. So I thought maybe we could put him and maybe we'll use pop dots to give him a little dimension so let's do that I like that idea this is the fun part this is the quick and easy part this is the part that goes by really fast but it really adds to your book all right so put him on pops and there we have it we got stuff in the pocket and we have our cute little bow that closes this, which is adorbs. Adorbs. Love it. I keep crinkling my bows. <laughs> when I don't want them crinkled, they crinkle. <gasps> That's funny. Okay. All right. So now we have this. And remember... I don't remember this, but that's what it did. Um, and remember we put some black. Yeah, okay. We put some black on there. And I thought now I might have a piece that I can use to kind of, you know, get rid of that black edge. I think I put this in the book opposite. I mean, it's okay. Where's my... Where can he go? Alright. What's the problem here? What's the problem? Okay. And then we have another postcard. Now, two of those guys in there. And then we flip this over. Yeah, I did put them in opposite, but that's okay. Uh, I have some little posts. I tried to put them in order of how I thought they should go. I mean, not or like size order. There we go. So two of those in there. Um... That looks good. Now we have this pocket here. Will it hold a big guy? Hmm. Won't hold a big guy. Let me see. Hmm. Uh, let's see. No, and I don't want that sticking out. So, I'll just put these little guys here. 
we have nothing else to add here so that's good then we come here remember i said i wanted to put something on there i thought this would be cute mistletoe with a pop dot and this again just using all the rest of my paper all the little bits all the things that i um have left let's put this here okay oh see now i put that one in properly so that's weird but that's okay so let's see will one of these guys fit in there not really one in there put this guy over here this is a little blank here let me see I have these little houses and I'm just going to put uh, glue on the bottom so it could be used as a tuck and again you may have different papers left than me you may have cut it differently so you might not have the same tags okay um I'm kind of cool there. This little circle piece. All right. That flip. This definitely needs some help. <laughs> this definitely needs some help. Um, I think I'm going to just glue the three sides on this one to give it like that tuck look. And then we'll see, maybe we'll even tuck something in it. I mean, I'm sorry, two sides, not three sides. Two sides, and I'm going to put it like that. Well, I guess I could do. No, no, I can't. All right, and maybe I'll put this little postcard in like that. And here we need some help. Here we need some help. Let me cut this down. And guys, remember, I'm just using scraps. No rhyme or reason, so yours may look different than mine. Not a problem. And I think I'll put this on a pop dot in the center. I love the pop dots. There we go. Put, a, put it in like that because it's not um and maybe put this one over here as a tuck i don't know what we'll tuck in it but we have it as a tuck if we want it there we go I don't know what I'm going to tuck in there yet. So I'm just going to leave that. Now here we have this guy. And we, can, um, we couldn't fit a postcard in that one. That's right. Maybe we could put the postcard in if I take the edges off. Because I do think that would look cute. I'm 
making it smaller. And we'll see. We'll see if that helps. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, do we want to do anything on this page? No, sometimes I just like to leave them plain too because you don't know what you're going to need. You definitely need something over here. I thought this little biplane would be cute on the top of that. Just to give it a little pizzazz. This definitely needs something. Get that going. Pretty. And then here, a little, little more tags. Some more on this side. Okay. She can they can go in sideways, that's right. So we can put these in sideways so they look good. Um, I'm gonna put a little tuck no little tuck spot there. I definitely need add something to here but again this is what you do you wait till the end to make sure that you have enough and now that we know we have enough we can use it opens and so maybe we'll just put this guy in the center just leave him free form there free floating <laughs> and do I glue him down no I don't think I'm gonna glue him down in case somebody wants to put a picture there but oh, I want to put something there mm, let me see let me just look at my garbage because I didn't keep anything that I thought was salvageable, but let me just check. There might be something I can add. Some little piece. Yeah, most of these are just all destroyed. I, I, I could do my little trick that you guys know I love to do. I could find something to punch. Is this like a club? Oh. Look at that. I threw that out. I didn't even know I threw that out. Look at that. Actually, I'm going to have to cut it down to the wood because I sliced it. There's no red on the bottom. Oh, 
cut this part. Look at it, that could go there, pop dots. I'd like to have dimension. I'm going to just put three on here. I like the dimension of it. Definitely needed something. Oh, that's great. I can't believe I found that. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. That would not have been good, guys. I'm going to see if my one inch can grab some color off of this one. You know what I'm doing. You guys know it. You know already how I am about this. See, and we're just using scraps, guys. You know, we're not... You see what we're using, but it comes out beautiful. Okay. What else did I say? These guys. Maybe another circle. Let's do some more of these circles. If I can. Let's see what I have left. houses are. Yes. Put that there. There we go. I use every little scrap. I think for this one, instead of putting it on the opposite side, I'm going to put it down here. So we have something going on. So we do have something going on for every page now. This, we don't have anything. I think we need something there. Did I get another punch out of this? Yes. like to get that bird but we'll see a little bird in the corner here this one we get a pop dot it's not on the inside so I, I'd rather have it popped up You guys see, all I'm doing is punching. If you can't, if I'm off frame, I'm just punching and putting them together. And I've done these for like every project because it's my favorite punches. I don't have a lot of punches, but I have to say these two I love so much. Okay, so let's just kind of see if we need any more punches. No, that's good. That's good, good, good. 
Maybe. Uh, maybe I'll leave that one. This looks good. Good. We could put one there if I can find. We were really, really getting to the bottom of the barrel, guys. Really getting to the bottom of the barrel. If I'm pulling stuff out of my trash. <laughs> Hey, however you got to get it done is how you get it done. on this one guys I'm picking it through my trash <laughs> oh, you can't say I don't use all my paper no one can ever say that because I do use it all love it all right so let's put one Put it like that. We don't want to do anything to those. We got that. It's a little crooked. Fix that. These people I don't want to mess with. I don't want to mess with my peeps. I have a little tuck there. Yeah, I don't think I want to put anything there. I got a little tuck. We've got stuff going on. This, we don't need anything. This is a little boring. It's a little boring. not supposed to go in my no. I was thinking of maybe making a pocket here. Just like a little, just to give this a little color because it's kind of boring. Cut on the wrong mark, yes it did. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll put we'll try to put one of our circles on it. If I have enough. But I did find this piece. Oh, I hate that edge. Put it on here. I found this piece and then just cut around it. And that's a pretty side too. Yeah, I like that one. I'm just using some of the scraps we have of the cardstock, craft cardstock too. 
just to add a little something. was from the advent calendar different mind but I still think that it can go I still I still think it could go so we have like two Three little tucks in there. That's good. Let's see if I can do a circle there. Because I would like that. Let's try this. Let's see if this will fit. Yes. Okay. A one inch punch. Actually, no, this is a one and a half. that's going to do it with the pieces in the trash. So I hope I'm going to be happy. <laughs> I hope I'm going to be happy with what we have. Because I have to be. I have to be. Don't have a choice. And when it's done, it's done. There's nothing we can do about it. Okay. Shut that. That's good. That's good. And then the tags are falling out. I might put uh, this extra piece of paper here. I just don't like anything to go to waste. You know, you can make like a little bookmark or something out of it. You could do something. Add something to that pocket. One tag in there. All right, so let's stick that in. And my tags. And this has two tags in here. Maybe we could move my punches. Stick that in there. Oh, I thought that was going to stay better. Do I have a piece to make this bigger? I do. So don't, the moral of this story is don't get rid of your scraps. Because look at how, look at how much we're using them. <laughs> I mean, we're just grabbing pieces left and right.
Okay, put that in there. Put my little guys in here. I would look pretty there. Um, now I'll just leave it like that. Okay. This the guy, this side's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And this is good. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. Whew. That was a long one. I know. I know. It was a long one. It was involved. But let's take a look through, do one final walkthrough and see how it looks because that's the best, the best part is when you're done and you look at it and you say, oh, wow, I can't believe I made that. And I still can't believe I messed up on that one thing. That was crazy. I'm looking for my glue pin if you're wondering what I'm doing because... Find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. I do have two more scraps. I can make maybe two more bookmarks <laughs> or something. bit smaller in there put that one on there so see I can't shut my glue yet I'm going to fit in that pocket, is it? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe we could we make that a tuck. I didn't make that a tuck. Maybe we could stick it in here. Yeah, with all the rest of the goodies. Good. Oh, I had one more to do. Mm, that's not going to fit on that paper. And I don't have any more paper. So, I think... Oh, I wanted to add the lace to the one side of my book. So, I'm going to do that. Um, Alright, this is that we're not going to use because I don't have enough. So let's get rid of that. Okay. Got rid of that. All right, so let me tie this. We already know what's in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this little snowy day adventure. I wish it was snowing when I had done it. Um, Cause that would have been really cool. Um, we would have really got into it then, but I took my fabric scissors and I'm just gonna Cut my edges. All right. So it's falling here. Get back in there. There we go. All right. So now let me cut these edges. these edges look how nice and thick that is 
love it. I love book, big books. And I really wanted to make a big book with you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. There's that. Pretty pretty. And then I just wanted to cut the edges on these. And we're all good to go, guys. That didn't take too, too long. Oh, I wanted to add the lace. I can't believe I shut the glue and I want to add the lace. <laughs> That's all right. It's okay. I just thought just a little piece of lace. I don't want anything major on this cover because I just think it's so sweet the way it is. And I don't know. I just don't want to overdo it. I want the pictures to speak for themselves. And these are such adorable pictures that how can they not? Mm, see, that looks really sweet. Just that tiny piece of lace. And I know that you all have a tiny piece of lace. If you've been a customer of May's, I know that you have some lace. <laughs> Oh, look at how cute. Just It just adds a little sweetness to it. I love this book. I love how it came out. I hope that you guys loved it as much as I do. I don't know what's stuck on there. Um, it was so much fun to make. And even with the mistake, it was still fun. <laughs> it was still fun even with the mistake. I see that my... Um, spine kind of pulled up a little bit but I know that there's enough glue and stuff in there so I just kind of pushed it gave it a little push I think too I you know do too much too soon on it and then things start to go awry you know you guys know how it goes but there we have it guys the snowy days that took a lot a lot of paper and I have one piece left, which I'll show you, which I don't know what I'm going to do with. I, I just love it so much. I was thinking of maybe getting like a canvas for it. Because it's my favorite picture. And <laughs> you guys know I'm so crazy. The whole time I was crafting this book, I was like, I can't cut it to this picture. And the picture was too long to put on anything. But I just love this picture so much that I may just have to put it on a, a piece of chipboard or a piece of canvas or, or something. Make a, a hanging out of it somehow because I just think it's too cute. I love it. So there you guys have it. Snowy days done. Took us a while, but we're done. I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you head on over to crafting on a budget store.com so that you can get your snowy days paper and make this and i would love to see what you make please post them in the group you know we all love to see what everybody's making it's it's so nice when when you see what people are doing and so much fun and so really guys i i hope you love it look at how chunky that is <laughs> I love it. I love it. It was totally worth all that paper. And I do love adding the bow on the top. I don't know about you guys, but I do, I do like it. I think it just adds a little something. A little something. So I'm going to let that lace dry. And that is it. You know what I'm going to say, guys. That's a wrap on this one. So thank you so much for watching this Snowy Day series. Um... No more projects coming out of snowy days except for what I decided to do with this because we used every single inch of it. Um, so there you have it. But we had a great time doing it and I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I do have one more Chaldella paper to use and I think we're going to do maybe a, like a 
Christmas daily Midori type of thing that someone can write in. I'm not sure yet. I haven't really given it much thought um, because I was really preoccupied with this. And now I'm done with this. So now I can, um, now I can uh, let my brain think about what's next. It's, it's just, you know, I, I try so hard to come up with stuff and stuff that you're really going to like, like stuff that I would love. I hope you would love, you know, so I really hope you're enjoying the series. Please give us a thumbs up. Please leave a comment so I know you're watching. And please, please visit May's store. It's so important to support her. Um, and, you know, that's the right thing to do. That's definitely the right thing to do. So hop on over to her store and purchase some beautiful items and come back and show me what you got. Uh, put it on Facebook. Let me see so I, I can be jealous. <laughs> So until then, guys, stay safe, be well, God bless you all, and bye for now.